picture this. You're at the shooting range, surrounded by friends, unveiling their high-priced American 6 and Saskia Zoyabowska wonders, each decked out with more accessories than a space shuttle. But you, my friend, you've bought the GHM. It's like walking in with a unicorn. It shoots like a gentle touch, feels like a dream in your hand. Its balance is simply magical. And the way it's made and held in your palm is like a slice of heaven. But it's not all about appearances. The GHM packs serious punch without emptying your wallet. When you squeeze the trigger, you're not sending bullets downrange. You're making a statement. A statement that says, I've got flair, I've got might, and I still got cash left for a victory burger after this wrench session. It's not just another blowback firearm. It's the first BNT that should be in any collection right from the start. I will admit, I might be fashionable late to the party with this video, considering this beauty has been on the market since 2019. I placed an order for it in FTE, choosing authentic anodizing straight from the BNT factory. It's like picking your favorite flavor of ice cream, except this ice cream shoots bullets. And let me tell you, my friends, it was worth every Swiss franc. I mean, look at this beauty. It's as if it were carved by the gods of aesthetics themselves. And it's cooler than the flip side of your favorite pillow on a hot summer night. Just like every other BNT firearm. The craftsmanship behind its contours and lines is perfect. Now let's start at the barrel and work our way through. First things first. A 6.9 inch cold hammer forged barrel takes the center stage. It's a precision instrument that delivers incredible accuracy for a 9mm. It's suppressor ready with both threads and free lock adapter. So whenever you are a fan of the silent treatment or prefer a little extra pew, the GHM has you covered. It features mirrored magazine release, bolt catch, Bolt release, safety selector on both sides. Moving to the trigger. It's decent, but not exceptional, falling into the okayish category. And let's not forget the comfortable polymer grip with its nifty storage compartment inside. A feature that should be standard on more firearms. If you ask me. The lower is identical to the one found on the pistol caliber APC Pro line. A reversible charging handle that's practically a bolt's best body, going hand in hand whenever shots are fired. It can be installed on either the left or right side depending on your preference. The firearm comes equipped with polymer flip-up sides and two Picatinny rails for easy mounting on the M-Lock handguards. As an added bonus, I decided to splunge a bit and order it from the factory with the telescopic stock. Trust me, adding it later would have me cost me an arm and a leg. Time to break down this firearm and take a peek under the hood. Taking it apart is a breeze, much like your standard AR-15. However, there is one more ping securing the stock. And here's the twist. The recoil spring isn't captive, meaning there is a real chance those springs might decide to embark on a spontaneous household expedition. Much like its exterior, the interior is crafted with precision and solid craftsmanship. When you hold it in your hands, there is an undeniable sense that your future grandkids will still be enjoying this firearm. I can't forget to mention the remarkable buffer system, just like the APC and SPC pistol caliber series. It works wonders by substantially taming recoil.
Now, let's delve into some of the cons. Firstly, it's worth noting that aftermarket support can be somewhat limited. And while BNT parts are undeniably well crafted, they come with a pricey price tag. Additionally, with the first generation of the GHM, where the bolt catch was located on the bottom of the lower receiver, some online discussions have raised concern. User have reported various issues. It's essential to keep in mind when interested in the older models. So, what's the final word you ask? Buckle up my friends, because while I use firearms mostly for competition, mainly pistols, this one's my go-to when I want pure shooting pleasure. It's like a rebel in a lineup of firearms, offering top tier quality without the price tag of the APC family. It's ready to face off against the competition PCCs and boy, does it pack a punch. Let's talk about what sets it apart. From the moment you lay your hands on it, you feel the difference. It's as if every component was meticulously crafted for your shooting pleasure. And that finish, tougher than nails and smoother than your favorite jazz tune. But here's where the GHM really shines. It's not just a looker. It's the full package, reliability that's rock solid, accuracy that's laser sharp, and ergonomics that feel like a natural extension of you. In a nutshell, it reigns as the PCC world's top dog, standing among the ultimate champs. I couldn't care less about the naysayers who label it as just another blowback operated PCC. That buffer system, similar to what we find on the APC and SPC pistol caliber series, a game changer, providing an experience that's reminiscent of the iconic MP5. It's a pro at taming recoil, just like a grasshopper mouse heart pounding for you. In the end, I'm just an ordinary individual sharing my humble personal perspective with you. Thank you for taking the time to watch this video. And if you're interested in more BNT content, feel free to click on one of the related videos. Oh, and before I go, here's a fun fact about the grasshopper mouse. They're the real tough guys of the rodent world, snacking on scorpions like their popcorn and laughing at their stings. Until next time, stay safe and... Quetchos.